So you're fortunate, you're getting ready to retire. You're leaning up to that big day where you walk out of your office for the last time or your workplace and you don't have to come back, right? You get to sleep in on Monday, Tuesday, and you're one of those people that you maybe your friends are like where they don't even know what day of the week it is anymore, right? You get to retire. So what should you do leading up to that point? Well, one thing, I'm gonna give you four main things, but a big topic at the beginning that's not one of the four. And for, for if you're one of the folks that have watched us over these last 11 years, you probably know what's going to come, come out of my mouth, but have a plan. We talk about this all the time on the show. Have a retirement plan. We, you don't want to just all of a sudden walk out of the workplace one last time and say, now what do I do? That plan has is, is got to be detailed and organized. But four little tidbits to take away from, from this here to kind of maybe you have or haven't thought about. One, retirement budget. What are you going to need to live on in retirement? What do your expenses look like? Maybe for some folks in retirement, expenses might drop a little bit. Some folks, they actually might go up. You got more time. There's maybe some projects you want to do, some travel, some more time with grandkids, hobbies, stuff like that. So really think about that budget and in, in, in any. The second thing, where's my income gonna come from that's gonna pay for these things on my budget? You know, am I gonna get Social Security? Do I have a pension? How am I gonna turn my retirement savings, 401k, 403bs, IRAs, the likes, into a paycheck? Have all those things planned out. The other thing is know when you're let's call them benefits are going to expire. So when you're still working, you know, how long is your company health insurance, as an example, going to last? Sometimes it's the day you retire. Other times, maybe they keep you through the end of that month. So you know, when you think about expensive health plans and, and, and health costs, stuff like that, if you have a procedure or stuff, and get some of that stuff done in advance while you still maybe have, hopefully, good insurance and you know, depending upon that, dental cleaning, stuff like that, eye exams, all the likes there. Um, also, life insurance. Some companies carry life insurance on. Are you going to have an expiration of that? And do you need to consider picking something else up on your own privately? And then also maybe company perks, maybe like a flexible spending account. Other people have paid time off or something. Thing. So go through all those things that maybe are specific to your company and make sure that you're taking advantage of those and not letting something expire or go unused. And lastly, <clears throat> think about your retirement accounts. What are you going to do when you retire or prior to retirement with that? You know, are you going to move that to something else? Some that may be dependent upon your age at retirement and looking at the advantages and disadvantages of that. Other times, what is the availability? Some companies allow you to keep it there. Some companies want you to. Do you want professional um, advisor to take care of that and all the likes? So heading into retirement, lots to think about out there. Exciting time, but don't miss some of these crucial things that can make sure your retirement is a success. Give us a call at the number on the screen. We'd love to walk through this journey with you and help you plan to retire well.